So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Kramer, right? Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but he's a pretty guilty looking one. Are these your files on the case? Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple of years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. I guess a squat. I'm starving. Do you have anything to eat? Well, I'm no chef, but I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Poor Manfred. We'd just been toast in the old days. Didn't bring him much luck. Some nerve, that girl. <laughs> Some nerve. How strange seeing Carter after all these years. Hasn't changed a bit. Still a twisted fuck. I should be ready by now. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Looks better on you. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients, one by one, that's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. The list of subscribers to Origami Magazines, you still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait! If the killer really used a royal typewriter, and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, I, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. His name is here somewhere. Help me, we're gonna find him.
The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Pick up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Time to look for John Shepard's grave. The sooner we find that grave, the sooner we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> this girl knows her mind all right. No point in trying to reason with her. I should be investigating Gordy Kramer right about now. And here I am, standing in a cemetery, pouring rain, looking for the grave of a kid who's been dead for 30 years. I hate cemeteries. They depress the hell out of me. Gotta hand it to him. Hey, Scott, where are you going? John Shepard's grave must be somewhere around here. Did anyone ever tell you you shouldn't shout in a cemetery? Take it easy. The dead don't mind. It's cold. It's raining. I'm standing outside getting soaked. Oh, how I love my job. She's convinced she's onto something. And here's me thinking we're wasting our friggin' time in this friggin' cemetery. young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for... Uh, well, don't worry about it. I can manage the loan. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a boy named I John Shepard. Straight ahead, a little further out. Thanks. Lauren must have found the grave. Okay, let's see exactly what she's got. These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Origami figures. 
That's one hell of a coincidence. Oh, youngin. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. It was in 77, October. Drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. The rain never hurt nobody. Come on, let's go play. Bet you can't catch me. Being out in the rain is nothing compared to being in when he's like that. Mom won't be back from work till later. She wouldn't let him treat us like this. John's right. We can't just stand here all day. Might as well go and play. Construction site is empty. Makes for a great playground. Big pipe. If you can make it. Watch your head. I told you to watch your head. <laughs> you dumbass. Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slowpoke. Bitch can't do that. Going too fast. He never waits for me. Jeez, you ain't nothing but a slow folk. Come on, loser. What you doing? You're coming or not? <laughs> Things went down here. Don't need to do this 
can do it all right. Just watch. It's as easy as pot. Here. If he can do it, I can do it. Holy cow, he's crazy. We could break our necks doing this. Move your ass, I'm waiting. and try to find me, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fifteen, nineteen, twenty. never did find any help, and his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... he could be the origami killer? Come on, let's get back in the car. There's nothing else for us here. 
Let's go. There's nothing else for us here. Let's go. <laughs> there she goes again. Surprising me. I don't usually like surprises. Wait. What's the matter? That man over there. Yeah? He's Charles Kramer. Gordy's father? What's he doing here? John Shepard's grave. 